So, <laughs> um, despite me laughing and sounding like I'm having a wonderful day, it's really not been that great. Um, it's nothing particular that's happened, it's just one of those down mental health kind of days. Good morning, internet friends. Or rather, good afternoon, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, boys? Riddler says I feel itchy. And I'll explain in a second why. MRL says squeak. So Riddler has a couple of bumps on his head. I don't know if you can see that because he won't sit still. Right there, right there. Um, I think he got bit by a bug while he was outside just now. So he's got some Benadryl in his system and he's doing good he's been using me to scratch his head um <clears throat> I'm so glad that we have Benadryl capsules because that is a lot easier to give to him than the liquid medicine where I've had to hold him down hi hi look you can see his head better see there's that one nope that's your skull hi see there's that one right there and where'd the other one go? No, I think that one is... No, that's your skull. You had another one. Oh, well. So. Hi. Hi. Oh, you want to say hi to your brother? Hi. I'm going to grab the camera and move it over here. Hi. So. <laughs> um. Despite me laughing and sounding like I'm having a wonderful day, it's really not been that great. Um, it's nothing particular that's happened, it's just one of those down mental health kind of days. Um, hi bud. I know Sassy's outside, I'll let her in in just a second. I know you're interested too. Oh, look at my boys. Aren't they cute? But literally, um, like a, last night around 3 in the morning, well, these guys need to go outside so I took them out. Went back to bed, could not sleep for at least another hour and a half. Had like the really weird dizzy lightheaded feeling and a little bit of muscle twitching. And then I had a bad panic attack. And I mean, the best thing I could do was just sit and wait it out. I also didn't want to wake these guys up because they were comfy. Um, Woke up at like 6.30 this morning to let the boys out and then I just couldn't go back to sleep. So it feels like I've been up forever. I feel like it's later in the day and it's only about to be 2 o'clock, so. Yeah. Um, and literally my day has been laying in bed, watching stuff on my phone while the dogs sleep. Dogs get up, have to go outside. We go outside, walk around, potty time for puppers. Um play fetch, come back in, I'll maybe get something to eat or drink and then come back upstairs and we start that all over again. So anxiety has not been happy about that. It's like, oh my gosh, you need to be productive. I mean, I haven't gotten the vlog up yet. I haven't gotten a shower yet. And Brain's just like, you aren't productive. You're being awful, blah, blah, blah. I mean, the most productive thing I did was I made an the appointment for MRL to get neutered. Yay! Yeah, but what do you think? <laughs> so much fluff. Um, so tomorrow he's going to be dropped off to get neutered and get his last shots. So I'm already kind of nervous about that, but being a nervous mommy, but I mean, I've seen neuters done a lot. Um, because of shadowing and working at the vets mm. and all that. So I know how they work. I know how they go. And especially with this hospital, I know what their protocol is, what they're going to do. Um, I know to drop them off in the morning because that's when they do surgeries. Um, and then I'll pick them up in the afternoon after the anesthesia has worn off. So, yeah, that's usually how that goes. Really? 
Yeah. So, mentally I'm not feeling the absolute greatest, but maybe a shower will help, so. Just wanted to check in with you guys, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! There's Riddler. Hi, buddy. There's Sassy Girl, falling asleep. Riddler. Hey. And of course there's my beautiful baby boy. So... Eh, my mood's not really changed much today. It's been pretty, eh, um, anxiety would go up, being like, oh, you haven't done anything productive, so you're being lazy, even though I cleaned the kitchen and did dishes, so, I mean, that's something. My brain's like, no, you didn't do enough. <sighs> my brain's ridiculous. It either thinks I not, I don't do enough, or that... I'm doing too much, or it doesn't know what the heck it wants at this point. So it's like, uh, um, and then I've got some anxiety over tomorrow because, of course, MRL is going to go get neutered tomorrow. Even though I know how the procedure will go and that it'll be fine, still, I get worried. And then Sassy is also going to the vet to get shots and get her nails cut. And for some reason, my brain automatically was like, they're going to find something that says that she's going to die. And I'm like, brain, why? I mean, she, yeah, she's 14, but she doesn't act like she's in pain. She's a happy dog, always wagging her tail. Sleeps most of the time, but I mean, she's also old, so what do you do? Um, but yeah, just wonderful anxiety kind of day. Yay. And then while I was in the shower, I started having a lot of depressive thoughts. And I almost considered sharing them with you guys, but I'm not sure yet. Though, I'm kind of surprised at myself that I'm much more open with you guys than I am with, like, people I actually know in real life. Um, one of the topics I may talk about in another vlog later, and it's about... Something I've never really talked about with you guys. About how my last relationship has affected my anxiety now. Because fun fact, the last relationship I was in, I dated a guy for a year and a half. That was in 2012. We broke up in 2013. So, yeah, it's been about four years. Yeah. So... There you go, and then I'll probably talk to you guys later about how that relationship has affected my anxiety now and my view on relationships, because I feel like it's kind of an interesting topic, and I mean, there's probably you guys out there that also feel pretty similar about relationships and anxiety and all sorts of loveliness, but that is a topic for another day. And then, of course, my brain went into the mode of do your friends really like you? Do they actually care about you? Because they don't do this or that. And I'm like, they don't have to do these things, brain. Well, you do these things. And it's just like, shut up, brain. So, brain was trying to make me very sad. And I was very sad. And then when I got on the shower and saw this little fluffer butt laying on the floor... And him being his cute little self, he made me laugh. I was like, you know, I think everything will be okay. Right, buddy? Hi, Sass. What are you doing? What are you doing? I love you. I love you, Sassy. Isn't my dog so pretty? Mm. So... Now that this vlog has been mainly just sitting around and being like, hey, anxiety sucks. Um, <laughs> I'm going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day. Thinking about talking about the topic of relationships another time. Is there any like anxiety topics you guys want me to ever talk about on the vlog? Like, anything that interests you, that, like, if you want to know my view of it, or 
whatever you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to specifically talk about in the vlog. So, put your suggestions down below and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Sassafrasum. Good night, Riddler. And good night, little fluff butt.